What up, that's your boy Shaka Tweezy from Mesh.com and here we go with the new video and today make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification button because we're going to teach you exactly what the pros don't want you to know. Other than that guys, make sure you guys check out our offensive and defensive guides from Mesh.com that are definitely going to help you guys win games and don't forget to like the video and comment so that you guys can be winners every week on our weekly giveaways. Alright guys, uh, before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that we are going to be hosting a tournament for PS5, PS4, Xbox X, S and Xbox One. So if you guys want to are you interested in joining, make sure you guys go to the Facebook group and register right now because we're already almost halfway filled on every tournament. It's $150 price per tournament. You could win up to $600 if you enter all four. So uh, also premium members from manofficers.com. You guys get to join for free, so make sure you guys take advantage of that. We'll be doing those weekly or bi-weekly, uh, depending on uh, when we finish the tournament, we continue with the other ones. So they're going to get bigger and bigger, just like we did last year. So make sure you guys stay tuned and make sure you guys join the tournament so you guys can, so we can get a chance to win some nice prizes. But anyway, we're going to continue with the Browns depth chart. And I'm going to go, go ahead and show you guys how to make them enhance the Browns to be a better team uh, on the depth chart. And all you have to do is... Set them up on the depth chart and you can play the rest of the games with this same lineup and you don't have to be moving people around all the time. So I'll make sure you guys follow the step all the way to the end so that you guys can take advantage of this uh, depth chart setup. So we're going to go ahead and auto reorder our depth chart. That's the first thing you got to do. Then we're going to go to our halfbacks. We're going to look at our speed. We want uh, 92, 90. We have 87, the Johnson. So we're going to put him at fullback. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to our wide receivers. We want our fastest wide receivers here. We got a 92, we got a 90. We got some 90s, 90s down here as well on speed. So depending on who you like here or our abilities, you could change them up. Uh, I, I right prefer speed, so I'll put my, my fastest receivers there. I personally think the Browns are a running team, so I would run the ball a lot more with them and just throw very short yardage uh, to my receivers, to my best receivers probably most of the time right here i'm going to go ahead and put david up top he has 85 speed so definitely we need the speed for him to get away from the linebackers and uh then we're going to go into our middle linebackers and we're going to set up our run defense or defenders or for our three four four three type defense i wouldn't recommend you guys using those type of defenses but if you have to use it on the red zone uh, to stop the run or certain formations then you would set up your linebackers so that you could have the fastest guys on the field so they can help you stop the run which would be Definitely, we're gonna go ahead and put Meander over here at 91 speed at the top. And then we're gonna put Taki Taki at 85 speed here as our second linebackers. And then we have our two 84 uh, speed linebackers, which we're gonna go ahead and put Phillips and Wilson on the outside. So Phillips and Wilson gonna go on the outside. Then we have our next fastest linebacker, which would be uh, Smith, Malcolm Smith. At 83 speed and we want to put him at a uh, left defensive end he's gonna have the speed to chase down quarterbacks that are rolling out and doing all kind of crazy stuff so that's what we want and we had the right end we got Garrett he's gonna be the one putting pressure then we're gonna go ahead and set up our cornerbacks and our safeties so that we can use the safeties because if you want to be a competitive player you got to have the fastest players in the field you have to have the you have to be able to use the fastest players. So this is how you do it. So we're gonna have 95 speed here, 93 with Williams, and then we have uh, 93 over here speed with Thomas. Then we have a couple of uh, 90s over here, 91 speed. What else do we have? That's pretty much it right here, and we a couple of 88s. So we wanna do, we're gonna put Thomas at the free safety position. He's gonna be up there with good 91, 93 speed ready to jump on the ball if they throw it up deep. And uh, the cornerback position, our two slots is gonna be Jackson and uh, De Del Pitt, okay? I think we have a 90 over here. Do we have it? No, I think that's it. So Jackson and Del Pitt are gonna be our slot. Actually, we're gonna put, it's gonna be Jackson and Mitchell. You guys see here, Jackson and Mitchell are gonna be our corners, uh, slot, slot corners uh, over here. All right, so our slot cornerback is gonna be, where, where was it? It was, uh, let me go back real quick and check. All right, it's gonna be Jackson Mitchell. Mitchell. 
So slot cornerback is going to be Jackson and Mitchell. And those guys are going to be the ones on the slots covering the crossers, getting, uh, getting all the way to the top quick. Um, those are the ones that you're going to be adjusting the zones. And then we're going to have our sub linebackers, which uh, in this situation we're going to have Red Wine as our user, which is a free safety. And then our other free safety is going to be Delpit, which is a 88 overall speed. So those are the two guys as well. They're going to be covering the flats. All right, depending on how you set them up. And then we're going to have our middle linebacker. He's going to help us stop the run. We have a linebacker with 91 speed. And that's what we want. We want to use a red wine on the field. If you're using 335 defense, 335 wide. Red wine is the guy who we're going to use here because he has the speed. He's going to be your fastest guy. So we already got the slot cornerbacks there. Our users. And our, our defensive end, we have Garrett and Garrett. So we're going to put, uh, who was it, Smith? Malcolm Smith there. Just so, because if you don't put him here, then you're going to have uh, somebody else in that position. So I always set him up on both the defensive end, regular, and then these, the RLEs and the RRE. So you're pretty much set, guys. If you guys follow along to the whole to the whole video, make sure you guys subscribe, hit the notification button. Uh, this is how you set up this step chart to maximize your team for the Browns. If you guys want a different team, let me know in the comment section what team do you guys want to uh, me to break down next uh they're definitely gonna help you guys out also if you guys tried this depth chart let me know if it worked for you or maybe you did some adjustments or changed some people around i would rather run the ball with the browns uh, they're really hard to stop uh, if you run the ball effectively with them uh but uh this depth chart right here is gonna maximize your defense and put your fastest players in the field so you won't have to be moving them around all the time so uh we'll see you guys later it's your boy shocker 360 from us so the comment don't forget to come and subscribe for more